Hey everybody, Dino Dan here with DinoJet Research. Today I want to talk about the different file types available to use in PowerCore software suite. So most of the time you're going to be using um, three types of files. The first type of file and I've saved this file into a particular folder. I like to keep my house in order here. So today we're going to talk about, you know, logs, tune files and originals and value files. Uh, most frequently, you're going to be engaged with tune files and original files. So as I refer to an original, this would be a .stk. And it's very important that your Windows computer or even your Mac computer, uh, in order to see the file extensions. In Windows, we go to View and we check the box File Name Extensions. We're going to want to see those because we need to know in order to keep our house in order uh, what those file extensions are. So a .stk file is an original ECU read. So depending on your application, this .stk original file may have been read over the diagnostic port and saved to the PV3, or you may have acquired it from our web service at dinojet.com and then saved it to a respective folder on your computer or the PV3, PowerVision 3 device itself. So STK, and then from an STK, when you make edits to it, over here in C3. So we'll go ahead and we can double click from here or I can go and query it, go to the directory, select it, and it's going to load that .stk file. If I drag my window open just a little bit here, you'll see there it is, okay? So there's my .stk original file. When I make some edits to any one of these tables, and you'll notice this goes to a bold uh, state on the uh, parameter that was edited. So it will go bold once a change has been made. When I do a save as, it's going to save as a file type .djt, okay? Um, so those are the two main files. STKs are the original. DJTs are the changes made to that original. It's very important that these files stay in the same directory. You cannot open a DJT file without its basis. And the basis is this .stk file. The second type of file is a log file. Our log files are saved with an extension called .wp8. Log files can be generated while you're on the dyno with a PowerVision 3 connected to your vehicle, or you can create log files right on the PowerVision 3 itself. Out in the field, you can actually record critical engine parameters and channels that are uh, very important for the tuning process. They can be saved directly to the device. And in another uh, production, I'll show you how to extract your log files from the device and get them into, uh, save them to your computer and ultimately over here into WinPep8 data center. So again, I can double click these or simply go to file, open, um, and for right now, just to expedite this process, I'll just open these to um, log files, okay? So in my case, this log file is going to have dyno specific channels like power, torque, RPM, all that good stuff. And it's also, since I was streaming data, through the PowerVision 3 into this environment while I was on the dyno, 
I'm going to get vehicle channels. So all of these vehicle channels. It's important to note that you'll only get these channels when a DJT file has been flashed to your ECU. Okay, so when you flash an STK, that's the original file. And in that state, you will not get all of this other wonderful data. You have to fl flash a DJT file to get that information. Okay, those are the uh, two types of files, three types of files actually, that you're most likely to be engaged with during your time in Power Core. Uh, I will do a separate production on value files. You probably